All right, welcome back to the Cubs. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've been on vacation, so I haven't making videos. Um. The last video that's on there is of what happened to my boat over vacation. So, if you haven't looked at that one yet, check that out. There's some pretty cool videos and stuff. If that's what you're into, so check it out. Um. Got the 54 inch power angle blade here. 147 is covered, 104 is covered, 125 is covered, and they all haven't been started in since the 6th of July. And if you come outside, we have all these ones that haven't been started. We got the 1650 dual spool, the 1450, and the 1650 single spool with the 59M chipper on it. And over here buried, there's a QA36A, that's for sale, a uh, 38 inch deck, I think a 42 inch and a 48 inch, somewhere buried. And as you can see, maybe the grass is like really tall. Um, so we're going to be doing cold starts, you're going to see it tomorrow, which will only be a minute or so for you but like 14 hours for me but anyways so they haven't been started in like three and a half weeks as you could easily tell um my boat's over there um making a video on all the damage to it it actually towed home and didn't self-destruct itself but in here over vacation i stopped at ray weaver's I didn't get that or this stuff, but I did get, I got a new grill for the 104, I got two grills for the 16, one for the 1650 single spool and one for the dual spool. I got a spring for the side panels on a quiet line. I got three of these knobs, one's put on already, my dad put it on while I was gone. And then two lift pins for the top link of the sleeve head. So I've got a fair price on them. If you've never been to his place, I suggest checking it out. It is absolutely amazing. He has, when I was there, he had about 140 tractors up on a hill in the woods. Mostly complete. So that was pretty neat. Um, he's, well, I think a Denver PA. So definitely check them out. It's worth the trip if you're not close. But we'll be making a cold start video. And you'll see that in any minute. So those are... I have to drag those out tomorrow. So we'll be starting those three. Along with... The 125 for sure, and possibly the 104. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see about that. And we'll catch you. Well, we'll see you in the morning, which is right now. All right. Well, it's morning again. So here we go. Got all the grass that's been mowed around for the past month. The view I was trying to get last night, you could see the grass height. See, there's one deck there, and there's two more, but you can't see them. Uh, 1650 with 59M chipper, we went over that yesterday. Um, this one has a 50 inch deck, it's the dual spool. And what I realized last night is this thing has a rear blade on it, you can't even see it from here. So, I'm going to start with this one here, the 1650 dual spool, and right, we'll now start it out with you. This has not been started in, since July 4th, right around there. So, let's see how she does. The fuel was not shut off, so hopefully the carb's not gummed up, but I don't know. Let's see.
1450. I wasn't do the 1450, but it has the rear blade on it and it sticks out wider than the spacing I have between them. So I'm going to hit the 1650, so I'm just going to pull the 1650 out instead. So pulled the bag off the chipper and we'll be ready. Again, has been started since the beginning of July, so here we go. Again, starts right up, that's pretty good. This time it's actually going to be the 1450. Air seat. Yeah, this is the new um, hydraulic lift cap that we put on it. Or my dad did actually, but it's still on there. Alright, let's see this thing will fire up. It's usually the tricky one for some reason. Beat that better. Yeah, that one's a fail for right now. Have to jump that battery, I guess. needs to jump. Something's probably drawing out the battery. So I'll get that one. But in the meantime now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the 125. So 
Ready? And there she is. Get the blanket off the ground now. Put it over here on the uh, tractor. Give her a bath soon. Check the oil. Add a little bit more in there to be safe. All right. Well, I don't have a funnel, but I do have an oil. I do have oil. So let me get a big towel somewhere. All right. I got a paper towel. Let's check the oil. Checked it, I know it's low. Let's double check. Don't hurt anything. Yeah, it's about a quarter of the way or so. So I put what they said I originally put in it is 30 weight oil. This is not the stuff I usually use, but I got it on sale. Um, I don't even know if I have the stuff I normally use. Um, yeah, yeah. The stuff I usually use has a, it's a black container, it has a purple car on it or something. The front of a, like a muscle car or something. So let's see if I don't spill it all over the place. I always pour it sideways to reduce the air bubbling. This one turns 50 in November. Even though I thought it was February for the longest time. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, now it started up. Now this one's like right against the wall. Alright, let's see. Okay, let me just do this. You guys believe me. Holding the muffler. It's cold. So, let's start her up. I always shut the fuel off on this one and run it out. Uh, this one shouldn't have anything drawn down with the battery. The 1450 has some problems. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, ready? Let's see if we go.
Yeah, well, my phone battery died. Charge it for a while. Um, pulled the 125 out and put that over there. Let's go get a jump pack for the 1450. Be there right now. There we go, 12.6 on the jumper pack. Right here. Oh, also, I just I bought another uh, U bracket sleeve hitch thing. Um, that'll be. I don't even know check that's gonna go on yet, but let's see. But let's get this. 50 up and running. See how that will start. Alright, that's ready. So let's see if we'll fire up. And it was still running. Not sure what's that about. Here's the scrape blade thing, back blade. I don't know. It's a homemade job, but it works. I'm happy with it, so I guess that's good. Um, this is a. I'll go to the list of years here. Starting from the front. We got this is a 1977. This is a 1976, this is a 1979, and this is a 1967. Uh, I know this one's November, I don't know really the rest. I don't pay attention on this one here. Um, I don't know, let's go look at the 104. All right, here's the 104. Look for that stuff. Let's see if She'll kick over, I guess. Clean all these tools off, and they'll be gone in a second. Right. With the great magic of editing, all the tools are gone. There, it's empty apparently. And there she is. Stuff under it, so I guess I'm not moving it forward. Um, this is a 1969. I know this one's in April of 69. She's still lacking some parts because I just wanted to have her running real quick before I went on vacation because she hasn't hadn't ran in a while. Like the tanks don't even 
tank's not done. It's just sitting there. And it is like bone dry. Let's add some favorite fluids in there. I got a little bit in there. In theory, this should start. Um, they're gonna run it long because the exhaust is aimed right at the 147, and it would probably catch the tarp on fire or the blanket eventually. So here we go. Turn on the fuel. Most important step. sufficient enough for you guys watch out for low-hanging objects uh, I'm not gonna start the 147 because that just it becomes a pain it doesn't want to start half the time and the new car has uh, the whatever you call it. it it leaks fuel with the new car keep it at that I'll think of it later okay here we go I thought about it for a couple minutes the needle valve in the carb that shuts off the fuel in the fuel bowl from the float i guess it's clogged or something or stuck even though it has a new carb on it and when you run it and then you turn on the fuel it leaks all over the place so that's why we're not running it also as a part of this video i'm going to show you what's left of the parts 125 um, still got to pull that steering column. I'm keeping that for sure. Um, the steering wheel and a couple of the linkages and stuff in the front. Um, I guess everything on the transmission is for sale. I don't really need that kind of stuff. The fenders are for sale. Frames, you could have the frame if you want it. I don't really care. I'm going to take that hydro lever off and sell that and the rest of the stuff it's just going to be a bare frame and that whatever it is seat box thing seat pan in the back i don't know what the official name of it is but i'm gonna keep that too or sell that uh oh yeah this thing's on the 54 inch blade on oh, this stuff that front grills for sale too somewhere over there a lot of mowing and stuff to do here. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut this now with uh, whatever it is, 1650 dual spool. And I'll show you how that goes. Alright, 
Oh, it's all cleaned up now. Uh, weed whacked a little bit, as you've seen. Back up there. Gas tank for a quiet line. Came off a of 1200. Looks pretty good. All these big leaves are actually. Um, yeah, that's the method. Pumpkins. Pumpkin plants. Let's see. Probably water them, probably help them out a bit. Over there. Then, that's a weed. Anything over here? Oh, the tomato plants. Let's see them there. Um, should be sunflowers. I don't know what happened then. Anyways, get back on topic here. Uh, I don't know what else I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> Guess I'll put the other handle on this thing. The other hydro handle. And maybe the grill if I have um, tie wraps. Well, this one just cracked on me. So I guess we're gonna use that one. I don't really want it, but it's good shape. So let's see, put it in here. Maybe. Here we are. like a real dual spool and it's rolling now let's see if we get a grill on there that's its grill decent decent enough I guess um get tie wraps I'll see if I get that on there some alright some on the front so what I figured out is best to do is if you bend the end of it a couple times and make it almost circular so you can kind of stick it in an angle and it comes back out like that one. So I'll show you what I do. So I'm just gonna bend it like that and a little bit more you bend it again, more again, again. Something like that, so it kind of loops back. Come up here. I go a little bit too much here. Yeah, that did too much on the end. Close enough right there. Get that um, zip tight. Scissors. Maybe. Try to cut them. There you go. There you go. You can see exactly how they were curled there. That's good. Uh, I think I bored you guys enough for this video. I um, guess that's it. We're going to end this now. So, uh, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. You can hit the bell on the 
next to the subscribe button when you subscribe and then that'll give you a notification once I upload a new video um, I appreciate that uh, you could also share my videos if you know anybody who might be interested in the same thing or if I'm doing something in a video that somebody else you know is trying to do and they're not sure you could share it and that's all that's greatly appreciated so I'll catch you next time